Hi, this is Ashlyn with Bellevue Avenue. Thanks so much for joining us today. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to apply the fog and smoke overlays. These overlays are just a great way to add mood and drama to your images, and they can just really change the overall look and feel that you're trying to portray. So in this first image, I'm going to show you three images. In this first image, we're going to apply just one overlay, and we will go to File, Place, then you navigate to your Bellevue Avenue Fog and Smoke Overlays folder. And there's actually two folders in the set. So I'm going to go to Fog and Smoke Overlays number one and go into the Heavy folder. And we're going to apply number eight and click Place. Click the check mark to place it change the blend mode to screen and in this image I actually like it just as is I don't really want to change anything um, I like how the smoke frames around her and adds quite a bit of interest here here's the before and the after okay so in our next image I am going to go to file place we're gonna go into the have you two folder and we're going to choose number 95. Click place. Click the check mark to place it and change the blend mode to screen. And I actually like how it looks here too. It kind of gives a ghostly look. So here's the before and the after. So I'm not doing much with it here. If I wanted to, I could brush a little bit off her face. To do that, I would add a layer mask choose a soft black brush and just lightly brush it off her face or anywhere else. So there's the before and the after. Okay, and for our third image, I am going to use one of our subtle overlays. So file place, navigate back up to folder one to the subtle overlays and I'm going to choose Subtle 15. Click Place. I'm actually going to flip it so that the fog is coming mostly from the right and change the blend mode to screen and there's the before and after. I'd like to brush off a bit from him so I'm going to add a layer mask. To add a layer mask you go down and click the layer mask icon then choose a soft black brush and at a lower opacity then just brush over the areas that you like to remove the fog okay so here's the before and the after so that's just a quick rundown of how to apply the fog and smoke overlays. I just want to thank you so much for joining us for this tutorial. If you'd like to stay tuned for more tutorials, subscribe to our channel and make sure to follow us on Facebook and Google+. Thanks again and we'll see you soon.